In South America, a forest home is under threat. And the only hope for one small monkey rests on local shoulders. For me, the titis are like my sons. If the titis come to appear, it's like if they were to appear tomorrow, they would die of my son. The continent of South America contains almost a quarter of the world's forests, including the Amazon, our largest rainforest. But in northern Colombia, much smaller patches of dry tropical forest are home to a tiny monkey, the cotton-top tamarind. Named for their distinctive shock of white hair, cotton tops, or titis as they are known locally, are among the world's smallest primates, weighing in at only half a kilogram. To find and film them for the BBC's television series Seven Worlds, One Planet, the crew enlist the help of Felix, who has been tracking and studying the monkeys for over 30 years. During that time, he has witnessed a devastating change in their fortunes. Hoy en día, pues, por la mano que me ha de, de, del hombre, se está acabando la casa de ellos, que es el bosque seco tropical. Y lo estamos acabando, la ganadería, el, el, los cultivos de pan coger, como yuca, ñame y eso, está acabando con, con la casa de los titi y por eso tenemos que protegerlo porque está en peligro de extinción. It's a story repeated throughout the forests of South America. In the past few years, deforestation rates have increased by 14%. Across the continent, tens of thousands of fires are started every year in order to clear land for cattle and crops. The cotton-top tamarinds have already lost 95% of their tropical forest habitat. Now fewer than 2,000 remain in the wild, making them critically endangered. But there are many in the local community who are determined to save them from extinction. They are only found here in Colombia when I was born and raised. And I never knew when I was growing up. So that fascinated me and motivated me to just, you know, take action and dedicate my, my life to saving the monkeys. Rosamira and Felix are members of Proyecto Titi, a local organization dedicated to saving the cotton tops. They believe that only by tackling the causes of deforestation can they provide them with a secure future. Science alone and forest protection alone is not enough to save a species. So we involve communities by educating the young generations and also providing income to the local communities so they don't have to rely on forest resources for subsistence. It's hoped such ambitious and long-term plans will provide the next generation with the means and motivation to preserve both the cotton-top tamarinds and their forest home. For the time being, though, the fate of these tiny primates remains in the balance. It's to our best interest to protect these species because if we lose them, we're losing the forest, we're losing our future. 